here we are. We played the good crash games. We played the maybe less good crash games that I'm sympathetic to. I, I, I was willing to give uh, Crash Bash, Wrath of Cortex, the benefit of the doubt. I still think they're okay. We played the even less polished crash games that people still have nostalgia for because they grew up with them, I guess. There's Twin Sanity, there's uh, Tag Team Racing. I, I, I played Tag Team Racing for two hours. And now we have what's left. We have Crash 6. Technically, they're all numbered in Japan. This is Crash 6. It's uh, Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutant. Uh, I'm starting Crash of the Titans. It's supposedly very short. I'm not necessarily committing to a full playthrough. If it's really, really bad, if I can only stomach an hour of it, Maybe this will be a stream of both of them. Maybe it'll be an hour of Titans and an hour of Mom. Mind over Mutant. We'll see. I don't know. I'm going into this blind. I know nothing about these two Crash games. They completely missed me. I've never met anyone who praised them. I'm sure there are kids who grew up with them. They think they're great. Let's find out. I have, uh... This is the first game on this stream... The, the privilege to uh, be on PSX, PS, PCSX2. I'll get that right eventually. Uh, I'm trying out PS2 emulation. All of our previous PS2 games we've done on console. I've done the Elgato 4. I own all of them. It's uh, been kind of blurry. Hasn't looked great. So I want to see if it can look a little bit better if it's emulated. Get the, you get the nice startup sound, you get nice uh, nice memory card loading information in the corner. Sierra Entertainment, developed by Radical Entertainment. Now, I thought this was Vivendi. This was the last game Vivendi ever published according to the wiki page before they got uh, eaten by Activision. I'm, I'm sorry Darian it looks like uh, looks like Crash, Crash of the Titans is not high enough in demand on Twitch for video settings. Oh, I'm doing okay. At the very least, when we do, M oh, I think we're doing MuseNet this weekend, and you won't be missing anything from that. That'll that will be audio only, because it's it's an audio program. Let let me describe what's happening for you. There's a silly little cartoon animatic, with Crash and Cortex and Nina. Nina was there, I guess. Is it? I think. Is this a reboot? Cortex has zapped him and turned him into Crash, but also Nina was there. This seems to be an alternate continuity. And Nina is going nuts. N is Nina the bad guy? No, they're both they're both bad guys, I guess. Fuck it, people like Nina, bring her back. Not a bad style for the intro. Kind of reminds me of Sly Cooper. Alright. Crash of the Titans. Here we go. I should probably pick up my controller. I haven't done that. Uh. Haven't played this. Know nothing about it. The wiki says it's mixed reviews. DS version actually was received better than the console versions. widescreen uh, sure wait why is that widescreen it's already okay that's bizarre it's already stretched so I guess I want to set it on that's fine 
This was intended to be a soft reboot. I kind of figured that. What is the difference between a soft reboot and a hard reboot, for that matter? Enjoy the lovely sounds of the letter select name entry wheel. Zell Q. No. Fine, I'm Zell. No, Zellro. I don't care. Uh, normal. Difficulty. It's got difficulty settings. Yeah, I've heard this and the... This and the next one, this mutant sub-series of Crash, is, uh, like, beat-em-up kind of games. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Episode 1. Oh, th A new Thank you, Aku Aku. So enthusiastic. Crash! Help me get this gizmo working! At long last, the world will have a way to recycle butter! Oh, that audio quality. Hey, Those... that was a good one! <laughs> okay, okay, hand me the trans pullover. <laughs> the purple thingy. Why is Crash so short? He's shorter than Coco now. Coco grew. Is is this thing on? Yeah? Haha! Yeah. -ha, I'm back, babies! Surrender to Cortex! Mika, sucker! Hey, genius. I can't actually hear you. I'm really far away, and I'm flying like a hovercraft or something. I will deal with them. I have been fighting evil for many centuries. What? You don't even got a body. Voiced by Grim. Who's voiced by Grim? Aku Aku? Coco is maximum Jimmy Neutron right now. I'm off to do bad things. Ta ta. That's that's all the story we get. Cortex is here, he's doing bad things. There's a butter machine. I'm just gonna stay here a while. Right, I'll just let let the cutscenes play out before I comment. So these are some very different character designs. Yes, Coco's okay. Crash is jarring. He's got like tribal tattoos. It's weird. And Aku Aku is just a completely different model. What, what happened to our house? He's, he's got like a door now. Crash isn't supposed to have a door. It's like that cool circle door. No, it's awesome. Oh, okay. Is this perhaps irony, or is this perhaps someone who grew up with this game? Because I'm, I'm sure there are people who are very nostalgic for it. SpongeBob game was released between the previous stream and this stream. Darian has already 100%ed it. I saw Vinny streamed the Battle for Bikini Bottom remake. That's repugnified. Once. Oh, square is a punch. That's weird. That's really weird. Where's his spin? Okay, I can jump and spin. Aku Aku is actually voiced by the Grim from Grim Adventures voice actor. Was that not the case previously? Is this a new Aku Aku voice? And he at least slide. He cannot... I do not have a slide yet. I have punches with square. I have, like, dive kicks. A dive kick with triangle. And circle doesn't seem to do anything yet. I'll give it a shot. I'm allowed to not 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 like the look though. So I'm busting open stuff for orbs. I'm sure, I'll learn about that. Crash does have his double jump. Crash. 
Press the square button to smash stuff and collect magical mojo. Magical mojo. Collect, oh, the we intact now. Become. I assume I'm heading to Aku Aku, where he landed. I do not seem to have the body slam. This is a completely new moveset. Oh, hello. We got the uh, usual Quentin Flynn mooks, it sounds like. One of them, at least. you collect enough mojo, you can unlock old-school moves. Spinning. Jump with the X button, okay, imagine having to unlock jumping in Mario. To do an air jump. Or having to unlock the spin dash in Sonic. Now I don't see. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Quentin Flynn. Cone has returned. Slash, Raiden. He must have made a... He must have made a pretty penny off of the, this era of Crash games. Quentin Flynn. He's in all of them. Mark Barrel created the soundtracks. Who is Mark Barrel? I can't complain about the music yet. The music's fine. Uh, is that hurting him? No, I don't think bouncing on him is hurting him. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Have you, uh, you've been in here before, or you just wander in? Press the X button when landing on a mushroom to go really, really high. Really, I can hear the Grim when he does that. That is definitely Grim. One of them is doing that uh, that Jewish comedian impression. I don't remember his name. Ah, uh, Italian plumber, like Mario. I got that reference. That was a reference to a thing I recognize. The circle at the top of the screen fills up. It will unlock the first upgrade. I just teleported. Collect. Okay, there's a mini game. In a Kingdom Hearts like locale. Be missing something. Seeing that you play this, I always come to see that. Yeah, I am. I've never played this game. I've played all the. I had played up to Twin Sanity before. I just recently played Crash Tag Team Racing, which was the first time I'd played that. And uh, Mind Over Mutant and Crash of the Titans are brand new to me. I know nothing about them going in. But you, you gotta play Crash 6 and 7 before you play Crash 4. That's very important. That's how it works. They were apparently all numbered in Japan. The mainline Crash games. So... Wrath of Cortex was already called Crash 4 on the PS2. And now, they're not renaming it, though. The new one is still going to be called Crash 4, so there are just two Crash 4s in Japan. Crash. While in the air, repeatedly press the square button to spin and slow your fall. Oh, I have to repeatedly press it. I thought I just had to press it once.
Yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm ever gonna have to go back to CTTR. I'm, I'm good with the one play of that. Oh, I was supposed to spin there. Imagine spinning in a crash game. He's got a nice, uh, nice ledge movement. I like that. I like that he's not very, very slowly inching along like every other platformer. Hello, what are you? Do I need to break you? I do. You destroyed one of the bad guys' surveillance robots. Destroying all of them robots. earns you greater rewards. It's, it's halfway between Grimm and uh, the original Aku Aku voice. I don't know how much of this I'm going to play. I, so far, despite all the strange changes, it is still... I'm, I'm enjoying this more than CTTR, at least. CTTR tried to do too many things, and it wasn't, wasn't really great at any of them. thousand mojo I was thinking about uh, speaking of mojo juju jojo mojo jojo I was thinking about doing the attack games or at least the first one after I finished the crashes the mainline crashes this and uh, mind over mutants there are other crash games I could play of course but uh, don't know how much I want to I haven't played the 2D platforming ones on the handhelds. I was considering Crash Boom Bang just to see how bad it was. That was a very poorly received sequel, quote unquote, to Crash Bash. Oh my, my powers were useless against them. Dark magic is behind these creatures. Strange things are afoot. I wonder why Aku Aku was replaced. Yes, I know I don't have feet. Let's just go already. The regular actor who I don't actually know who it was actually. Or if they got him back for uh insane trilogy. Crash. Hold the R1 button to use me to block enemy attacks. Oh, okay. That's my face though. So go easy on it. Get fruits. I don't know what the fruits do, but I'll, I'll, I'll collect them. Press triangle to break an enemy's block. Oh, that's what that is. He has a wall jump? So we haven't encountered anything particularly titanic yet. Point of the game. While running up and mashing, uh, oh, there's quick time events. It's crashed him hearts. I guess that's a titan. Kind of small, but I guess that counts. Crash. Press the triangle button or hold the triangle button to charge the attack for extra wallop. Norris Roundhouse. Okay, confirmed. Chuck Norris exists in the Crash Bandicoot universe. Or at least a Norris. Maybe it's Mrs. Norris, the cat. Maybe she's an awesome kung fu fighter in Crash Bandicoot universe. Uh, there appears to be a giant evil mask. I'm going to assume that's Uka Uka. Could be another mask. As we're learning, there are several. Crash 4, I... What didn't actually... I wasn't sure upon the leak 
whether it was real or a fan-made thing. It does have a lot of jarring similarities to Wrath of Cortex. So this is a crash game with basically an EXP system in the form of the, the mojo. Okay, that one's gray. Is he special? I don't know. I'm a 90s kid. I like edgy monochrome stuff. I'll take the gray one. Got them uh, comic book Sly Cooper sound effects. Press X for special. Oh, okay. So I got 10,000 and filled up the circle. to go to a shop or something, or if stuff's unlocked automatically. What? No! Uh, I pressed the circle button because the circle button's being shown. What does that do? Oh. Okay. Well, I lost my dude because of that. Press circle to the ball, it gives out more mojo of your titans. Gotta design some type of stream currency. Isn't that what the bits are? Oh, Norris Roundhouse. That's what I unlocked for 10,000. There's the channel points. Twitch added those. But uh, I haven't looked into what those do or what I can do with them yet. You can, like, set up stuff to spend them on, I think. Like, highlighted messages and things. Probably custom things. I haven't thought about it. If you got any suggestions, leave them in the Discord. Crash's stats. Replay episode. Episode 1 concept art. Rat Nition. Are these, like, bestiary entries? The Rat Nition. These little guys were created by Uka Uka's mojo and Cortex's science. Luckily for us, they're as fragile as they look. Oh, I could wail into these nerds all day. Wail into these nerds. Wow, bully Aku Aku. Hatch, rodent attack! Oh, the biting fun begins now. <laughs> it's it's just Quentin Flynn doing doing a goofy comedian voice. Likes attacking bandicoots from below, petty larceny, and romance novels. It's it's All very bad habits. It's not just a bestiary; it's a fully voiced bestiary. That's all. That's a lot of like stuff Episode to do two, between levels. A succumbing to age story. That's like a director's cut feature. So this is also very non-traditional, like Twin Sanity was. It's uh, level to level. Does not have warp rooms. I think that's Tom Kenny. It sounded very SpongeBob. Maybe. I'm not positive now that you mentioned it. You want to look up the the minion voices? Burst of concentrated mojo, mojo letting you knock out an enemy with a single shot. Crash, you've 
Shatter Free Jack. This concentrated blast of mojo magic lets you stun any enemy with one blow. Oh, he puts the mask on him. That's that's how they get taken over. I get it. Hello, Stipko. Welcome to the stream. I'm gonna be honest, I did not expect this to uh, draw views. I This is not a Crash game I've ever heard anyone talk about, but uh, I knew invariably there would be people who grew up with it. My first time playing. Going into this blind. Leave. Wow, this guy's slow. It was, in fact, Tom Kenny. Okay. Tom Kenny. Those, uh, awesome impressionists. Impressionist singular in Battle battle for Bikini Bottom. Mr. Uh, Imitation Crabs. So, you're telling me I should not break this open for the mojo? I guess I'll leave alone. Looks like free mojo. Yes, you should. Uh, I do plan to do Mind Over Mutants after this. Not today, probably. But, uh, I'm going through the whole series, the whole mainline series. <laughs> Crabs being voiced by Chris Redfield. Doing a very not so good Mr. Krabs impersonation. It's it really sounded like an intern. I think the guy in chat was trying to tell me to reflect those attacks. I don't know why. It was much easier to just run up and punch him. Things to hit. There's not so much focus on the platforming so far, but it's a beat em up, so. that kills your titan. It's a slightly more complex input, and he gets dizzy. Since when does Crash get dizzy after spinning? Press push in the opposite direction, then press jump for a backflip.
Press jump to kick off from walls and climb up higher. I'm going to try to play this game as if I were playing it for the first time by myself. I, I'll, I'll ask if I need help, but thank you. That's a toilet. I think you can jump up here with some good timing. Jump up with the X button. Uh oh. Then push against the wall and press the X button to jump even higher. So there's wall jumping. I keep jumping outwards for some reason. Crash does not want to face the wall. It's a very, very sticky kind of wall jump. Jack, snipe, and destroy all bombs. Gotta have more guys spawning to get in the way of the aim. The fact that this is auto aim is what makes it difficult. I can't, like, aim up. Oh, noes! It's definitely mid 2000s. Thank you for the host, Cascadia. Oh, the spy bots are like, uh, they're like collectibles. You have to destroy all those. Hello, Cascadia. Have you played any of these, the, the later Crash games? Levels sound okay, by the way. Game should be a little bit quieter than me. Gore. It's like a boar, but with a G. Gore. Huge, powerful jaws, terrible breath, and unstoppable power. This guy's like a bad hair day brought to life. This Aku Aku is, is so modernized. The Snipe. This colorful creature prefers to keep its distance and throw razor-sharp feathers to slice you up like warm cheese. But how do you slice warm cheese? It's half melted. Episode 3, A Zero's Journey. I'm cautiously optimistic about Crash 4. The voice actor is apparently the same one who voices Grimm in Grimm Adventures of Billy and Mandy, I was told. Which is different from the original Aku Aku actor. Special. That's right. I keep thinking these things can jump. Don't 
Don't do that. Think like a kid. Huh? How? Which ones did uh, which game, ones did you play, in Cascadia? So it's just those balls are just sacrifice titan for for Mojo balls. Uh oh. I'm fine. We're good. I guess someone at the design team thought it was stupid to use spinning as an attack. And that it would be much more appropriate for him to uh, parachute down with it like a helicopter. One and two. Yeah, I grew up on all the PS1 ones. And... Continued into some of the PS2. I owned up through Nitro Kart, and then I rented Twin Sanity. I never 100%ed Twin Sanity. It was a very, very different game. A very incomplete game, as we found out streaming it last. Where is he going? I ain't got no time for you. over here. It's another minigame, it looks like. I haven't completed any of these yet. Jack, Gore, and Defeat All Enemies. That sounds doable. Okay, he has like a roar. Man, man this one is slow, though. Do it. What's left? Hey, I did one. I got a blue thing. So who is the soundtrack composer for this game? Is he known for anything else? Oh, you have to have a have a Titan to uh, break that open. Right, but is Mark Barrel known for anything besides this game? Is what I'm asking. Like uh, the original Crash composer. Mark Mothersburg was known for being in Dio. Devo, not Dio. He was not Ronnie James Dio. He was in Devo and uh, also composed the Rugrats soundtrack. Spiral composer was uh, the drummer for the band The Police. Hello. Take you. He's done the Him Simpsons Hit and Run soundtrack. Okay, so he's, he's a video game composer.
I'd like to keep this guy so I can bust the targets, but uh, other guys keep spawning. I'm not being given that opportunity. I think this game probably would have been received better were it not a Crash Bandicoot game. If it were a new IP. People have expectations of the Crash series with the spinning. It's, it's a different kind of game. It's not traditionally a beat-em-up. Okay. This is the, uh... This is the Eco Reserve, seen in the intro to Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. The greatest source of uh, mojo, quote unquote. Distance. Did a little damage. Alright, I'll take you, please. That's better. There's like a combo counter. I don't know what it does. Maybe uh, more mojo for high combos. Not a rodent, I'm a marsupial. Are they rodents? I don't actually know. I think those are different families. So Uka Uka has not properly introduced himself. He's just hanging back there, looking menacing. Fight. Let's go straight for the end boss. I know you're it. Quite a long spawn time on these. Oh, you mean those guys up there? I thought they were just decoration. you telling me to hold R1 to aim. I was assuming that if that were important, the game would tell me about it at some point, because otherwise I would really have no way of knowing, and that would be bad game design. Miss that message, or if that's just an oversight. Check, 
All right, onwards. I like the melee guys better than uh, better than snipes. I'm not sure who hits harder between them. Uh oh, that turned at the wrong time. So this and Mind Over Mutant were both uh, PS2, I believe. I don't think either of them were on the following generation. No, Mind Over Mutant was on uh, Xbox 360 as well, but that version was uh, not so well received. And then the series just kind of didn't get anything until the Insane Trilogy. Is there health anywhere? I know the I know the Wumpa fruits are the health. There's something. Just in time for me to lose it. I did do the insane trilogy. I interrupted my uh, my sequence of mainline crash games to go do that. thing somewhere, or I can use my special move. It's not as strong as I'd hoped. Oh, and they recover health, too. Is that, is that Uka Uka? He sounds familiar. I wonder who that voice is. Against three big guys, we're finally at the point where I have to uh, start mixing it up a little bit. It's so hard to consistently do the uh, the spin input. Uka Uka is John DiMaggio. Oh, no wonder it sounded familiar. In a, he has a bit role in Princess Mononoke, I believe. That was so odd to hear John DiMaggio in a, in a Ghibli anime.
So if they just stay stunned long enough, they just uh, disappear, I guess. Thank you for the host. Crash. It's as I feared. Cortex and Uka Uka are stealing all the mojo from the temple. This is somehow related to the strange mutants we've been fighting. There's an enormous treasure of mojo contained within. It's like the Texas Mojo Repository in there. Hurry, Crash! Texas? I guess, yeah, Crash takes place in uh, real world parallel. There would be a Texas. It's kind of a bizarre mechanic. It's just anytime you need to abandon your uh, abandon your Titan, they say, "We're sorry. Here, have some free mojo on us." Is it gonna spin soon? There it goes. What did I say? Uh, I, I don't know. What did you say? In regards to what? Is this gonna move? Yes, it is. Ah! Wait, hold on. I can also, uh... In addition to pressing the square traditionally spin button, I can just keep mashing the jump button in the air, in the air to spin. floating platforms. Haven't quite had these in previous pl crash games. You're, b you're basically telling me not to be critical, which, no, I, I'm very critical with every game I play. Sorry, I guess. level, I guess. Play Mojo Room. Oh, those are the, the mini games. That's what those are. Health, spin time, slide time. Okay, so I do get sliding eventually, I guess. 10% through the game. I assume that's accounting for collectibles and things. Temple of Zoom. So, rope swinging? Temple of Zuma. Uh, is this just a jump I can make? I think so. Maybe? Barely. series of sections I have to do. Those are giving me 
Jungle Book vibes. The live-action one, the non-Disney one. That's the one you don't want to watch as a kid. What monsters are you going to fight? Apparently I'm going to fight more Tom Kennys. What is that comedian's name? I gotta I got, I got look this up now, because it's going to keep bugging me. Oh, can I keep going? Is that it? Alan Sherman. There's this over here that I guess I can go to. Okay, what did I do? I, I've awoken some unspeakable evil. So, what, of course, the only thing to do is to go back to the platform and kick its ass. Oh, that's not the evil, that's just one of these dudes. Maybe he's evil. I don't know. So, uh, the movie Flubber exists in Crash Continuity. Confirmed. Reminds me of Aladdin right now. I can see it. Are they gonna fight on a giant gold hand? So no one watched the, the middle Aladdin movie, right? Everyone just saw the first one and then the one with his dad. I never heard any- I, I knew people who watched the third one, I never knew anyone who talked about, uh, Aladdin 2, the straight-to-video one. I mean, they were both straight-to-video, but for some reason, three is the magic number. Maybe there was a game manual that came with this that included uh, a lot of the instruction. This was just towards the end of when games were coming with manuals. They pretty much stopped that in the PS3 era. to, uh, hit this thing. There we go. Oh, you watched Return of Jafar. Don't, don't need you. In fact, I want your mojo. You've served me well. Now I must take your life essence. Good guy, Crash. I feel like I missed out on a conversation. I, I see people talking about angry elves in chat. Read the stone to discover the air grind. Well, I want to. Now I'm stuck on a board. There I go. Jump and press block to slide. Okay. Just anywhere, huh? Oh! Okay, yeah. What is this, mid-2000s? Gotta be radical. This was, uh, like Sonic 2006 era. Twilight Princess. I guess that had kind of passed. That was like, uh... Sonic's height of radical was like, uh, Sonic Adventure. Which was, I guess, early 2000s, right? Something like that. When was this game? This was a 2007 game. It's actually later than I thought. 
All right, where can I go now? I assume a different door has opened. I do not have camera control. There's no way for me to rotate the camera that I can find. Did I, I think I went up there but first. First. I think I've already been up there. And I cannot see to go up here. Maybe the stairs moved. Maybe this isn't the one I went up last time. Boy, I'd hate to go down the same path twice. Oh, okay. I, I, I guess I have to be radical here. It said I could spin on this, but it is not... I guess that's a spin, the spin kick. Sure, that counts. I don't even really need to spin, I can just ram into them. some of this game for, like, a potential smash move set if they really wanted to. At least insofar as the traditional movements, but really, crash punching is crash punching. It doesn't really matter where the animation comes from. Ah! Oh! I had to jump off. I guess. How do I do that? Jump in R1, okay. I can't jump off while I'm in the tube, but I can jump off after the tube. Feathers. I need those for some kind of juju magic. I don't remember what they're for, but they're for something in tack. Uh, that's a red thing. I guess I want that. Concept art. Alright. That's a Machamp. That's a Machamp with a Zeppelin on its head. Alright, what do you have for me, Mystic Stone? Use smaller enemies to jack your way up the food chain. Gotta grind down the stairs. It's the only way! I wanna break the camera. Don't, don't Press, cut scene me. Gullible fool. You walked right oh, he's so baby-faced. I don't like it. Now I'll have you and the mojo. Cortex, why do you keep doing stuff like this? Well, actually, it's pretty fun. You should try it. You know, riding around in huge rumbling machines and whatnot. Very stimulating. Okay. Uka Uka taught uh, the, indeed. called Mojo Mutations. I will use the stolen mojo to create a huge army of loyal mutants. Not rejects like you. Oh, guys. the original plan. Jerk. But best of all, I will use this army to construct a mighty robot, the largest doomsday device I've ever built. I will smash Wumpa Island, then take over the world. And I shall call this robot the Doominator. This cortex is more built. Yeah, yeah. Very Jesus. slightly. Cortex. Deal with Crash and my pathetic brother. I will take the mojo and Bandicoot Female back to our base. Bandicoot Female. Thank you, thank you, Bender. It's only slightly less wiry than he usually is, this Cortex.
it looks like it's he's halfway between Cortex and Jimmy Neutron. He's like 10% Jimmy Neutron DNA. Alright, come here, little big guy. There's just one of you that I can just beat the crap out of you. Alright, where's Mr. Gore? The Gorn Arena. I can't jump, so I know that's not gonna be a part excuse me. That's not gonna be a part of this boss battle. I just gotta beat up one thing after another. That, that's a bagpipe. Why has he got a bagpipe? Also, I'm frozen now. Oh, that's a one-hit kill. Excuse me? What am I doing? Why am I on top of him? So, uh, don't be near him when that happens. Ow. Nah, I don't need to beat the big guy. I can just go straight up to the, the bigger guy. Come on, get out of the water! Get out of the dark eco! Oh dear. It's very polite of him to just kind of stand back and watch. As I, uh, beat up the other guys. Okay, so I can get out of that by mashing, it seems. I do like being a big man. Oh, I gotta charge it up, that's right. Ow, cut that out. Got it. I am this now. Press select button. To, oh, okay, that's convenient. Was that always there? Hold X for Mojo Blast. And now it's just a big gauntlet. Oh no, they're sending the Tom Kennys at me. I hit someone behind me. Hello, where's the other guy? Uh-oh! There's the big guy again. I mean, I'm bigger, so it shouldn't be a problem, but it is a problem. Ow. Look, stop that. Turn, please. Oh, I couldn't turn fast enough. I didn't get the big guy. Oh, that's my, that's my bagpipes. Oh, he got got. Get off him, Crash. I like that guy. That's I don't know why I just jumped like that. Break down the walls to end it. 
Okay. Probably would have been a while before I figured that out. I don't, I don't know why there would be anything relating to the walls that would entice me to break them. Was indeed supposed to attack the platform he's on. See, Cortex with all the sex jokes this game. That's a lot of things. Get rid of those guys. Go down! Simpleton? Well, Uka Uka got away with the mojo and your sister. You'll never find them in time. The next Long time nose you see cortex. Me, I'll be controlling a world conquering robot. <laughs> oh, I'd love to laugh. Come on, Crash. We're gonna get Coco back. Crash, we must stop them. We have to follow Cortex and find out where they've taken Coco. Oh, him, yeah. I'll leave him here, I guess. He seems okay. He'll be fine. Leave him to his natural habitat. He will adapt. That was ridiculous and appalling. You failed to destroy Crash Bandicoot. I don't see what the big deal is. We got away with the mojo and Crash's sister. I got away with the mojo, and the big deal is that Crash Bandicoot is still alive. Cortex, I'm going to replace you. <laughs> Thank you, Master. <laughs> you can't replace me. My name's on the stationery. <laughs> That's right, tough guy. <laughs> Unless you want to buy on the stationery, you'll respect the master. It's really nice stationery, too. Oh, I know. Thank you, Tiny. Glossy. Cortex, you have never been more wrong. Uh, thank you. Uh, what? What do you mean? <laughs> thank you again. <laughs> Hotter than the first. <laughs> Allow me to announce your replacement, Nina Cortex. Oh, come on. He didn't even have a cop. Take out the trash, girls. Sorry, Uncle, but it's time for some young blood to lead us to victory. 
And now that we have Coco, we can make her build the robot. You won't get away with this! Crash will come for me and kick your butt! Oh, I hope Crash tries. I really do. After all, I need a new fur coat. <laughs> get to work on it's, the it's my promise, Stein. More mutant soldiers. I want Wumpa Island smashed flat. Dr. Richthofen? Oh, shut her up. Okay, so th this this is when uh, th this is when masochist engine starts. I knew it was a thing that happened. I don't know why I thought that started in CTTR. So how many episodes are there in this game? That was four, and that was the first boss of the game. Episode 5, The Emerald Pity. Let's go ahead and listen to that minion dialogue for a second. Twenty levels. Okay. So basically five worlds of four episodes each. I, I, I guess, I'm guessing. I'm gonna have, have, have dang old, uh, dang old Louisiana swamp. Got them, uh, them, them southern minions now. And suddenly music. Those really do look like the feathers from Tack. Whatever they do. Like, this was kind of some unfortunate timing with Tack coming around a little bit before this game and having the whole tribal motif. This is better than Sonic Adventure boarding controls, at least. Still, still having trouble with it. This is not the easiest thing to control. I've been uh, playing through Sonic Adventure 1 on Steam just because I hadn't played through the Steam version before. Just looking for a game to play. Got through the regular story. I was doing the mission stuff, and I just got to the... What is widely regarded as the, the most annoying mission in the game, there's one on the downhill snowboarding level. It is just a huge pain in the ass. That online guides suggest the easiest way to do it is to actually glitch it, not do it the legitimate way. Can't wait to see your reaction to Tiny. We, we just saw Tiny in the cutscene. He had the Mike Tyson voice. I assume that was Tiny. He was the big tiger with the, the silly high voice that you have mentioned before. Well, this has given me vibes to the western levels in Wrath of Cortex. If you liked Crunch's Mr. T impression, you're gonna be ecstatic over Tiny's Mike Tyson impression. Coming this summer, it's the feel-good family hit of the season. Why are we gathering up all this vegetarian nonsense anyway? Boss, oh, I see Crunch! Over there! Oh, hello. <laughs> 
And it's got personality at least. I feel like they could make a good Looney Tunes game with this kind of setting, with the enemies like having conversations that you walk up and interrupt. I don't know if I necessarily wanted this to be the direction the Crash series goes in, but that's something I could see it being fitting for. Oh, hello. You just rolled past me and I'm fine. I can take that. I cannot do the spin. There we go. Ow. That hurt. And he recovers too quickly for me to really... Like, there's some other way I'm supposed to do this. I can't just beat the crap out of him, sadly. What are you? You're a minigame. Nope. Why well, fight bosses? I've got games to play. I got a pants to kick. Kick the minions to destroy all bombs. Okay. Kick the minions. Is that all bombs? No, there's more. Kick the baby! I can carry that out of the level. Great. I just, I, I smuggled it out of the minigame. Horn attack, Thunderbolt. This fella does not seem to take damage from explosives. Maybe he does. Oh, that's right, the green is his health. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. Okay. Now nah, he's dead. That's fine. Who needs him? These bombs are weak. Man, I remember when TNT would blow you up in one hit. Cortex has uh, fallen off his game. Who put that TNT there? Was that Cortex? Is he just littering the littering the ground, littering the world with explosives? He had like his little scientist dudes everywhere. I still don't know what these feathers do. I just collect them because they look pretty, I guess. Can't do anything with that. Uh-oh! Hop off that. No, I can't hop off that. Man, having to stop and start on a snowboarding section is very strange. You don't usually have to stop and wait for things while going downhill. and a twisted love for anything gas-powered or heavily carbonated. A booze. Can't 
Can't say that in a kid's game, though. The Rhino Roller. This armor-plated beast rolls himself into a ball to knock down enemies or even friends that look at him funny. So Cortex is finally successful. In this continuity, he has found a reliable way to mass-produce his mutant killer animals. Episode 6. Don't eat the yellow brick road. And I suppose this is the result. Oh, I can do like an aerial spin attack to start combos. Like, uh, like gang beasts. Go down into the propellers. Kind of a token of the beat em up genre. With the block system, it's at least dynamic enough to be somewhat interesting. The Wumpas heal the Titans, or if that's just crash health. They're very scarce in this game. You're uh, definitely not as abundant. Hey, what, what, I just noticed the meat meter. Why do I have a meat meter? Okay. Oh, there's uh, there's targets over there, over here. We gotta at least get to Tiny. We gotta see the Tiny boss fight. That's very important. What are uh, what are some of the other bosses in this game? I'm assuming Ook Ook is probably the final boss. Oh, I lost my thing. Going back. No! God damn it.
Oh, I guess this guy cannot break that down. Ow. Oh, these guys hurt. He's still alive? I thought I got that guy. Maybe I just didn't try hard enough. Yeah, I did not roll long enough. No, I want off. Get off. Tic Tac. Uh. Oh, it wants me to wall jump? But there's a door there. Oh, it's just, uh, it's just like a, a stone token that tells you how to do stuff. I thought that was like a metal door into somewhere. <laughs> there I go. There's a Nina boss, there's an Uka Uka boss. Who is, uh, who's boss number three? Is there an engine fight? I, he just, he goes flying. Off that, off that falling log. What? I didn't even get the chance to fall. You know what? Fuck it. The camera's not worth it. I'm just gonna die again. Boss is in uh, Uka Uka is the worst. How come I can't ride these guys? I want to hop on one of their heads. That's a big ass truck. That's like actual person sized truck compared to Cortex. That was a short fight. Oh, I gotta restart the whole level. Episode six. Don't eat the yellow brick Oh, I do. I need to do like a whole gauntlet again. The, this level started with a with a fight. At least these guys hardly block.
Looks like Battle for Bikini Bottom is going to need patched badly. It's been crashing a lot for people. That's not good. I bet they're going to patch out the, uh... I bet they're gonna patch out the menu warp bug. Bet that's gonna affect the speed run a lot. Oh no, I didn't want to do that! Okay, I'm good. Saved him. Note to self, do not die repeatedly this time. Ow! Is there one on this waterfall? You don't really get any warning for those. You just kind of have to wait and watch the timing. My one-hit attack. Can I keep it? Come on! Oh! Okay, I got him. Good. Ow. No. Go down. Get out of here. I got this. I'm out of here. I'm a pacifist. Don't mind me. What? Da, 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 da. I'm dead. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do a full playthrough of this game. This and Mind Over Mutant will probably be a uh, probably be a one-off, like uh, CTTR was. Oh, I did. I got the checkpoint anyway. That's nice. Now I got to figure out what to do about this thing. hear Mike Judge do video game voices. Just make make a random NPC in Grand Theft Auto 6, Hank Hill. Pretty please? But why did it explode? Oh. Oh, hello. Is that is that how? Is that how I'm supposed to just kick his ass? Alright. I'll take it. Infinity combo. Blaze of glory. Is that fire breath? That's 
so cute, they think they can do anything to this guy. Whoa, oh! They act- one of them knocked him back into the saw blade. What- what am I hitting? That was bizarre. I, yeah, I would, I would definitely, I would definitely rank this above CTTR, at the very least. It's not a bad game, it's just not traditionally a crash game. Ow. I want to use this against one of these guys. Yeah, it is just fire breath. Gyro Jackhammer. Okay. Oh, I can't try it now, because I'm on a board. This is not a game I probably... Were it not a crash game, this is not something I probably would have sought out or rented or anything. me about the shellephant, Aku Aku. The shellephant. Just your friendly neighborhood crab-shelled, fire-breathing, mojo-fueled elephant. Nothing to see here. Move along. Is Dingo Dial in this or the following Episode game? Seven. The Blizzard of Claws. Get it? Cause, cause like claws, like, like, like Santa Claus. I'm curious which characters return in this subseries, in this attempted soft reboot, besides the ones we've already seen. Oh, that was a little bit of a stutter. These guys have fireballs. They're like they're demon turtles. They're they're bow crash bandicoot bowsers. Uh oh, that wasn't a good thing to do. I'm, I'm trying to try out my new move. That's the normal move. Oh, that's what it is. He, he does a break dance. Are there any new characters in Mind Over Mutant? Or returning old characters, I suppose. Got him. You're mine now, Bowser. With your cortex belt. Slam thrust. And hellfire stomp. Oh, okay. Ow! It's a good move. I'll take it. Going lava. Good to know. Except some lava. Some lava, the, the dark lava is too hot, even for them. And um, that didn't work. Uh, only Crash can use that. Hopping over, I can keep using my super moves. Oh, 
apparently evil Coco is in mind over mutant. Like, a brainwashed Coco, or like the proper other universe evil Coco? That one? I knew there was like a Coco boss fight in one of these games, like a possessed Coco. I assumed that was this one because of the events thus far. Out of the way. Come on, move it. How dare you leave your corpses in my path. I meant old Crash characters, like from previous Crash Bandicoot games. Oh, that's right. That was a, that's not the guy who can go on lava. I should have kept the turtle. Ow. giant mutated versions of themselves. Oh, so, uh, the you seem to be sucking mask is replaced with, uh, with a free golden mask in this one. Once, I guess. You get it once and then it goes away. Alright, so note to self, keep Bowser. Episode 7. The Blizzard of Claws. I'm gonna try to get to episode 8. I'm gonna try to get to the tiny boss. And that's where I think I'm gonna call it. In order to uh, test the emulator, I tried running a Jack 1. I realized it did not have a uh, skippable cutscenes. So uh, that's going to be fun. Alright. One more. Just keep recharging that super. Ow! Fuck off! I don't like their melee attack quite as much as the, the claw guys. I think these spiky guys are my favorite to play as, as far as the titans go. They're nice and simple. You just walk up, you punch stuff. Tiny's in this episode. Oh, okay, so it's not a uniform four levels per boss, or per world, per area. What was that noise? Who was that? Ow! This guy's getting his ass beat! You know what? I don't need to fight those guys. I can just leave. Oh, I don't even need to fight enemies to recharge my super. It's just time-based. I can just run away. Super run away! Ow. Man. Was I doing this? There's a ball here, so I'm going to need to abandon these guys. 
What is this? Do I need to break this? Oh, I guess I needed to break that. I can just turn this game off. Did one of the minions say that or something? Oh, I had to break the other one too. All right, back we go. Just walking on lava. Don't mind me. I can't get up on those, but I can get up on here. God, these ones are slow. That's okay, they broke it. I don't need to. Am I alive? Can I walk across? Oh, I'm back at this one now. Great. That's fine. Suits my needs. It's a convenient way for it to break apart. I feel like I'm fighting clockwork again. Ah! Oh! Well, they don't sink slowly at all. They just suddenly go down. What a great climax to a game that was. For like a platforming game, Sly, T Sly Cooper had a had a really involved, really satisfying, intense climax with the boss and the the whole jumping on lava, the platforming section, everything. Very climactic presentation. What? Why did I... I guess I just didn't jump precisely enough. Well, these ones don't sink. Unless maybe they do. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't want to fight one of you guys. But I'm going to have to, aren't I? Boy, I'd love to turn my camera. That would be great. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can jack my way up. Maybe there's one of the punching guys I like up here. Is that one of them? This is one of them. Ow! Episode 7. The Blizzard of Claws. It's so grim. I want to overdub the lines with one another. I want to take Aku Aku clips from this and just stick them on Billy and Mandy. And Grey Delisle is in everything. There are so many other characters. You could you take Zula and dub Mandy over. Goth girl from Danny Phantom is Grey Delisle. Ow! No, get out of here. All you bur- Oh, I miss! That one's hard to aim. I can't mash with these guys. I have to time it, unlike the, the punch claw guys. Bowser is actually more precise. I don't actually know who voiced Billy. Come to think of it. I mean, I didn't know who voiced Grimm prior to... Actually, I still don't know who voiced Grimm. Do we have a name for that voice actor? Of uh, Grimm and now Aku Aku? It's not Phil Lamar, is it? Because I know him. God, they're everywhere! Oh, fuck off! Oh, he came flying! Well, I'm now trapped. Hmm. Thank you, Wide Joe, for your sympathy. This is a conundrum. Rip me, I guess. Richard Horvitz. Sounds familiar, but it's not one of the ones I'm... Not not a voice actor I'm intimately familiar with. Oh, that's Billy. So who's Grimm? Could 
Could they really not have made it sink slowly so you have, like, some warning when it's going down? Greg Eagles. Okay, no, I don't recognize either of those names immediately. <laughs> Barely. That is a tight one. Please let me make it to Tiny. I gotta fight more turtle things first, and I'm below half health. You know what? You're right. I am just gonna make them do it. No, except I can't cross the island. It's the lava moat is slightly too wide. We do get recognizable voice actors in the Crash series, though. Like, every Crash stream has ended up being the voice actor talk. God, di go down! Motherfucker, get out of that lava! That's not what I wanted to do! Dead. You just beat each other up. How about that? Yeah, eat it. Please! Ah, why are there gotta be two of them? Episodes Richard Horvitz does Invader Zim and the Angry Beavers. Okay, I can hear that. Eagles actually does Aku Aku for the Insane Trilogy. Okay, so he is, he's just the new Aku Aku voice. There we go. Take out three at once. Grab a new turtle, dude. Oh, I didn't get to grab a new one. They died too quickly. Well, this is definitely a better hijacking mechanic than CTTR was. Ow. Ow. Go ahead and smash that. And get off this island before I'm trapped here. Without me, probably not. Given that the game has uh, the game has tutorial stones, but they kind of leave out some important information, so that's kind of a fault with the game. Come on, come over here. Come here, come here, Mr. Turtle Man, out of the lava.
They just hug the lava. I can't get them away from it. He's in bleach, too. Interesting. Please come further out. Okay, this guy's further out. Thank you. But now he's got another one right next to him. I can't get over there. It's just barely too far for me to safely cross. Okay, I made it. On Mr. Lava Turtle. Get out of here. Get that. And feet. Slide duration upgrade. Huh? Why I can slide? How? How do I slide? Oh, that's explosive. That's new. I didn't learn about that. on the on the board but there's not like a, a crash slide like the previous crash games I didn't know there was a limited duration to the board slide Last guy? There's nothing over there. Uh, I guess not. Tiny, where are you? I'm coming for you. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Crash. Come on. Get up there. Get on it. place for an orb. Oh, hello. ride him up. I'm gonna have to go up on my own. To the boss. Oh, if I get a game over from the boss, am I gonna have to do this whole level again? 
That would be bad. I wouldn't like that at all. Oh, that's a saw. I'm fine. We're good. No harm, no foul. Go ahead and take that, I guess. Uh, was that enough distance? Yeah, we're good. Hello, Tiny. Just hanging out. Crash, I really am cross with you. I'm just trying to do my job, and you go and cause all this chaos. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to eat your face. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that. I wish some sort of reconciliation was possible here. And frankly, I'm still mad about the last game. You didn't even invite me. That really hurt. You didn't exist yet, this version of Tiny. And somehow, he is more intimidating to crash than, so bad, than the giant titans. I really hope I, I got a checkpoint here, and I don't have to. I don't have to redo this whole level if I die. That'd be lovely. Hey, come on! Quit it! What if parents complained about the stereotypical gay guy voice? Oh, good. I can break through those. Okay. I gotta I got spend a little longer on them. It takes two hits. Ow. The mutant? Oh, there's that guy. I need him. Tiny. He's right up there, and I have a projectile, but no, I cannot hit Tiny. Now that'd be that'd be too easy. I guess it's kind of Mike Tyson, but it's not really. It's halfway between Mike Tyson and the gay stereotype voice. Come on. I want you, Mr. Elephant. No, not this, foolishness. this foolishness. Uh oh. Uh, just keep moving and I'll be fine, right? I know it's not really Mike Tyson. It's not really just an impression of Mike Tyson is what I'm saying, though. Like, it's a mix of the Mike Tyson impression with the stereotype voice. Just one of you, please. The other one, fuck off. Just trying to separate enemies in this game is such a chore. It was not worth getting that fruit. Punch the walls? 
the walls in the area up ahead. Like, I do not need to capture a Titan. I assumed it was necessary to get the Shellephant. Oh, well, here I go. I'm gonna punch it. Punching it does not seem to do anything. You need the Shellephant. Well, that's what I assumed, but you told me to punch the wall. Please restart the boss fight. Episode 7. Oh, no. The Lizard of Claws. to give it one more attempt. If I get another game over, I'm done. God, why is he gotta get dizzy? Doing that more as, as the game progresses. Elrog's turn to have a jack moment. But having to start a level over? Is that a jack moment? I like how Jack, or Jack, Crash just figures out that he can do this. Like, there's no explanation for why this was is now suddenly possible, but wasn't in previous games. Like, he and Aku Aku could have taken over a large foe at any time. They just, they just chose not to until this particular game. Fucking jump. Shut up, Bender! It is at least generous with the checkpoints. It's not generous with game overs at all. But even if I miss a jump, it will still, uh... It will still give me the checkpoint from after the jump. Ow, turtles! <laughs> Come here, Mr. Claw Man. Path of least resistance is to take you down. All right, you're next, Mr. Turtle. Why, there gotta be so many of you! Fuck! I'm fine. No, he's not fine. He's, he's... Almost fell off, I'm fine. 
We're good. Just one little crash versus four Bowsers. Hey, you guys stay over there. You stay out of this. It looks wider than the other one was! Well, I'm over here. Can I get back? No! Oh! Well, crash was fun. I'm done. We saw Tiny. We had we had him do his, his big dumb voice. I think I'm done with Crash of the Titans. I will uh I'll come back next time. I'll do uh I'll do Mind Over Mutant. I'll do at least one stream of that, probably another, you know, two hours. Give it a shot. See what it's like. See how it improves on this formula. And then I guess I'm uh I guess I'm all caught up on Crash until the new one comes out. Crash Boom Bang. Crash Nitro Kart Mobile. It'll look up an Android emulator. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.